That recognizable tune means it's a time for another full spectrum cycling show. This is number 224. Day. And I think that was my old tech room. 224 or 226. It kind of, it kind of. We'll bring it up again in two shows then. Yeah, you can exactly s- you can talk. Well, about it, it again. started out as one. No, it was two twenty six. Okay, uh, okay, then we never mind. It up in it, two shows. Two shows early. They made it into two rooms by my senior year. Two twenty four. You had to go through two twenty four to get to two twenty six. Much like today's show, as you were, Sven. And we can digress right into. <laughs> d- we can digress into Tupac Shakur. Two his, <laughs> his his murderer has apparently been found. No kidding. Yeah. yeah. Wow. In Vegas. That's been a while. Yeah. Why would you be still be in Vegas? Right? <laughs> you had so much time to get away. Um, what, too soon? <laughs> um, <laughs> no. It's been what, 25 years? It's been, a, it's been 90s, a while. 97, I think. It's been a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Always missed. Oh, man. Well, are we recovered from the Nut Factory open house yet? Ah, yes. I was kind of drunk. I actually didn't. I only had like three beers, so I felt pretty all right. But it was it was kind of um, like it, those things are like weddings to me. They go really fast, and you talk to a bunch of people. And yeah, I had a lot of fun putting people in hairdressers in hair dryers. Yeah, I, I enjoyed a couple that. of those dudes. Thought that was absolutely priceless. Yeah, yeah. The it's, guy that wants to do the photo shoot, the young black dudes doing uh, doing clothing. Yeah, they need to come back. They were yeah, fun. I haven't heard from him yet, but he said he was going to yeah. call and do a shoot. You know who doesn't like the hair dryer so much? Kids. They're afraid of that thing. Yeah, at Daniel first. was at first. He got really used to it. Well, once you're in there, I think you kind of get yeah, used to it. Yeah, the one girl. It, the one girl was like, "I'm not having that." Yeah. But then the brother Maybe wanted to get in there, and it was like, "Is oh, it from well. watching?" Well, they don't watch the Jetsons. No. Is it because it's from the '60s and they're like, "That's so old. I don't want to put my head in there." I'm. I'm just. They don't. I'm they don't know. Don't it's just. I. I think it's unrecognizable. There, there's no way that anybody modern era uses something like that. Really. Maybe. Daniel, maybe Daniel old, used his last night. Maybe to, to actually dry his hair. <laughs> he got right into it. It was I mean, hilarious. Yeah. Like, you know, after a, well, hot day like uh, uh, Tuesday was, where it got up into the mid to high 80s here in fair Milwaukee, that would be in October. Quite, that would be quite refreshing. Yeah, right. Like, it has oh, cold to hot. hot yeah. You don't want to do hot. That's yeah. going to give you cancer. I, well, I think it's mostly for setting curlers in yeah. the olden right. times. In the olden but it's like times. an air fryer for your head. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's all I could keep thinking we'll, of. We'll I'm have going pictures like, of the salon chair. I I, I know I have one of awesome. uh, because Mundy those, in there. Yeah, Scott. those with hair, when it came out, was kind of like the, whoop, you know, the Dairy Queen nipple not, on not the gonna lie, top. Not going to lie, the first time Daniel got an ours at the house, he came out looking just like Donald Trump. <laughs> he had the perfect comb over. I'm like, Chewy and I photo. both burst out laughing. Photo. Yeah, I got to get one. Pixar of didn't happen. He looks so funny. <clears throat> All right, yeah, so, yeah, we had, I don't know, it was a pretty good turnout. I think it was a good turnout. I did take some, I didn't get up to the fourth floor. I didn't I, know there was a fourth. <laughs> well, think, the, oh, wait, I guess I did. So, yeah, the second floor, I went and hung around at Todd and Renee's for a bit, and they always have a ton of people in there. They had a DJ and some interesting stuff, but, man, the coolest thing in the building besides, you know, our shop was the guy on the third floor with the, 3D printers and all the collectible stuff. Oh yeah, with the Bane mask. Yeah, uh. the I think it's called the Collection Dimension. Hmm. He's, He's got some really great stuff. Did in you there. ever? You were up there. That's no, there last time. Yeah, last that's year. an overwhelming. Yeah, it is. It's overload. So okay. that's I believe that's his website, the the collectiondimension dot com, and he also has like twelve hundred items on eBay. So you go into this studio, which is like half the size of our place, right? Give or take. Right. So it's not super big, but it's like a full on retail shop. But with, he, with he enough mostly, space to navigate. Yeah. Right. I mean, right. Not, he's, well, he's, not that, not a lot, but that guy's on point. Yeah. But he doesn't have people come up there. Right. It's mostly for the YouTube videos and all right. that stuff. And it just looks badass in, <laughs> in video stuff. I mean, it's, it's, right. it's clever. And he has a lot of cool stuff. I didn't want to look too closely at most of it. Yeah, that. well, it was very, it's dense. It's just like concentrate. It's like taking well, it's credit like, card dense. Too. Well, yeah. It, oh, yeah. It, it's like taking all the museums on the National Mall and shoving them like into yeah. one and then like trying to just watch. Yeah, that's why. Trying to look. Going. It's like, oh, wait, I just want to unpack this one little pillar you got here. Yeah. He recently got uh, an, I think it's an Epiphone guitar like 
Marty McFly plays in hmm. Back to the Future, and Michael J. Fox autographed it. Oh, Jesus. Nice. Yeah. yeah. That's worth some cash. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. He's got a lot of autograph stuff. So he goes to the, the Gen Cons or com, yeah. Comic Cons. Yeah, he was talking about So he gets conned a lot, he was, apparently. He, yeah, he was talking about the, th- uh, or he's the con three guy. people from the Star War. Oh. War. War. Yeah. Yeah, so well, was, I was, was playing. Crazy. I was playing a little. Like, That's pretty cool. I was well, uh, other cool stuff happened this week. Uh, J.K. got to see "Stop Making Sense" the 40th anniversary <laughs> re remaster. Remaster. Yeah, yes. that'd be it's mind blowing. Oh yeah, yeah. It, talking heads, folks. Yes. If and, you don't know that, you shouldn't be listening to our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Jerry Harrison, Shorewood Zone, uh, yeah. was in attendance. Did a little Q and A right after the oh, show. That was, was at uh, Riverside. Oriental. 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 The Milwaukee even film. Even better. Sponsored a little. Diddy. Yeah. I think it cool. goes for a little bit still, but not with. The yeah, re- he the was only in Jerry. town. Yeah, he was just in town for the weekend, which was he very just, cool. And then he just said, fuck you, Wisconsin. I'm gone. <laughs> I think he still likes it here. Oh, yeah. He comes Why pretty regularly. He comes he's like, sure he, wouldn't nice, Yeah, man. he comes a couple. <laughs> I bet he, he's here a couple times a year for some reason or another. Yeah. Or at least has been. More. Oh, sure. come on now. So there's a, I don't know come what it's called, now. but there's But a, Rich Mars did the Q&A from the WMSE nice. on Wednesday nights with the City Rock Showgram. Showgram. You know, it was cool. I, I, I That was unexpected. I, I kind of thought I heard that he was going to do that on some of them, but this was on a Sunday. This was like the last show. I didn't realize that. Nice little surprise. Yeah. So go, go and ride my bike there too. <laughs> That's, gotta, why it's, that's why it's relevant. Yeah, I got well wondering. relevancy here too. <laughs> I think you know he may end up back in Milwaukee area permanently because there's like a climate study about the places you want to be when the shit hits the fan. Wisconsin, our, our area, right, is like okay. So when they do percentiles, like you're the smartest person in the world, you're in the 98th or 99th percentile. You're in we're, Wisconsin. We're like in the the first percentile of the best place you want to be. It's like. Yeah, it's not going to happen here. We got right. we got right. everything, including fresh water. Right, yes. right. Until we give it to fucking Waukesha. Oh well, Waukesha. I'm uh, you know, by the and way, open the can of worms with that. I did. My new house is going to get some. He's colored in the scabs, <laughs> and the the two companies that are part of the Milwaukee Solar Project. One is Arc Solar in Milwaukee, and the other one is. I don't know solar in Waukesha. Guess which one I'm going with? The one that's not in Waukesha. <laughs> exactly. And I'm going to tell them that. I think I'm going to start like, calling it Waukesha just yeah. to sort of economic stick Waukesha. it in to them. <laughs> you know money falls. we got yep. all kinds of them. All right. Here comes some bike stuff. Oh, cool. Uh, JK sent this about 30 seconds after I saw it, too. Oh. <laughs> Next Saturday, the 13th Biketoberfest yes. is back for 2023. Yes, yes indeed. Don't miss Dance this. party. Yeah, it's it's uh, starting at the Blackbird Bar down there in the Bayview. Six, oh, is it Blackbird? Six, yeah, six thirty. Oh, um, yeah, I didn't read it. Costumes <laughs> <laughs> just, encouraged. Costumes no, are encouraged. <laughs> Absolutely, it's, it's always that. I mean, it's been the same dance party. Costumes, costumes encouraged. encouraged. It's been the same poster, so I, I kind of yeah. Just, it's like that. I see it, and then I'm like, yeah, I kind of got to remember what the but the dates, dates and locations always change. Enlighten people about this because this is one of the best rides of the year. Yeah, I think, you know, it's it's a curated ride. That's a good you way don't, to put it. Well, and he militantly does not tell you where you're going next, which is, is we've, awesome. we've learned how much of a mistake that is <laughs> right. to say where the next stop is. It's like, no, just follow me. You'll find out where it is yeah. when I we get there. To this it, day, that was one of my favorite, me- like, Memories is uh, butt crack Andy <laughs> <laughs> going up to Bill and like going, Hey, you know, no, no, I just need to know where the next stop is. Yeah, yeah, you'll find out uh, yeah. when you, we, when we get there. <laughs> when we ride along, somehow the inner but circle it, does it, learn. It was so, a little I mean, in advance, he said it's though. so nice. He said it to him so nice. I was just like, Oh my god, I would be like such a but <laughs> no, I just hey, where is but the next stop? You have stop? a history at BCA. No. I, well, yeah, but... I mean, but Bill probably didn't know him from Adam at that point. Exactly. That's why it was like, so well, nice. He's like, find out when we get there. Yes. That's why it was so... Because oh, Bill does effortless. a great job on it this It was ride. effortless. Yeah, and uh, there's a lot of newer places that may be on the list this year. We won't things, know. Things have changed. Yeah, this but is But it'll the be one. a ride around the south side of Milwaukee yeah. down there. That you can one pretty much guess it'll be... 
Somewhere 15 yeah, plus 15, no, 15 yeah. miles. If you don't feel like riding your bike that night, there is also the Friday Night Freak Show. Oh, uh, yes, it which is. Which is Coven. Not uh, Coven, yeah. but Mark Borchard's Coven. Huh. Which is also a Southeast Wisconsin native. Uh, he's me no money falls. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he's uh, he's going to be there doing some sort of commentary afterwards, I guess. Right if on. you've never seen this show, it's hilarious. Right um, on. Is I that own at, it on at VHS. Times, I would that's say. at the Times. At yeah, the I times think Von Munz is doing the early I spin. I believe Von Munz is doing the early spin. If I am I, not uh, mistaken, let me I own sure. that signed copy on VHS. Very nice. Oh, tweet. I, if you need a VHS player, I still have I two. I have one, too. Oh, mine was, <laughs> mine was working. It was awesome. Uh, so while you are listening to this uh, today, I'm headed to Iowa right now. Is that right? Yeah, we're going to Fattoberfest oh, over nice. there in Osage, Iowa. Somehow this turned into a big rigmarole. Uh-huh, rigmarole. Every, so I... <laughs> so. Dave Puck Lunds bought uh, Colin's old Necromancer to get the green wheels off of it because he wanted the green rims. Mm -hmm. And then he sold the frame and such to Chewy. Oh, geez. Now, Chewy is going to, I have to deliver the frame. And then I got to go to Deke's shop in Decor to pick up the Gervin bike that Dave is buying from Deke. So there's that thing. And then this morning, or whatever, Tuesday morning, <laughs> Uh, Dave Slavowski says, well, I sold the bike to a guy in Decora. I'm like, uh, yeah. so that's going to come down here via Tom Schuler. I got to pick that up on the way and deliver that to <laughs> Osage, which is just like, it's nice. That, bike taxi. It's nice that all this is happening because it's kind of like very seamless. Mostly I, I head out of town on 94. Schuler lives like, I don't know, less than a mile off 94. Nice. So it's easy to pick it up. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm glad I can be useful to these people. Much of, <laughs> glad they're making you their chauffeur. Yeah, I, I chauffeur bikes. I don't, uh, people, yeah, the bikes are It quiet. does sound keep like. It, keep it down back there, all you bikes. All right. It sounds like a rig, rigmarole. It is <laughs> As soon as I saw Dave post the picture with the green <clears throat> wheels, I'm like, isn't that college bike? Well, the and best deal is the Gervin fork. I think that's something that I would like to come across one. And somehow he talked maybe Deke out of this. Maybe it make it into the car. Well, maybe it fell off on the it way. Fell it fell out of the back gone. of the truck. It did. I'm oh, certain. that's not the same one. That's, um, that's a different no, one. that's a different one. Totally. Yeah. That's mine. Now, that could be. You're not listening to this, Dave Lund. Yeah, dot com. <laughs> Dave fucking Lund. Here's more, here's more sad, sad bicycling news. Oh, oh no. Well. I think we talked about All City being like not... Totally shutting down yet, but they're not developing anything after next year, and eventually it will be mothballed. Yep. Guess what's early mothballed? If they were going to mothball one bike, which bike do you think would be the worst one to mothball and or not sell anymore? Well, for me, The one that they've done the most of, probably. Pugsley's. No, I don't think they've done the most Pugsley's. Oh, you're not talking like a cross check. I am talking a cross check. No. Why That's, would they discontinue that bike? I don't know. Maybe because it doesn't have modern standards. Fuck that. Maybe That's because they don't bike. sell that many. Maybe because there's so many in the world already that anybody that okay, wants maybe. one can find it on the used market. Maybe, maybe. I don't know, but it just seems like QBP is 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 axing a lot of stuff based on Redonkulous, man. Probably their, you know, bean cruncher type folks over there. Wow. But yeah, so cross check is no more. I guess if I were interested in a cross check, I'd probably try to find one sooner than later. Right. On the, knowing what I know are now. Are they keeping the truckers? Just trucker? I haven't and, heard anything about that. Okay. Because those are kind of old school geometry yeah. stuff. Yeah, but at least those have this. Well, there is a, I don't know, yeah. just check too. But anyway, so yeah, QBP's killing stuff off left and right. You know who's not killing stuff off? Did I, did I send you a picture which oh my god is, is that a gorgeous freaking touring which, bike no. mountain touring what do you call that thing which the esker one yeah oh the long tail the, esker uh hey duke lvs hey whatever dude. i don't know what lvs yeah. stands for but it's a it's a long wheelbase similar to uh maybe a black burrow or something but yeah titanium and beautiful and and realistically, for a pretty dressed titanium bike, it was forty five hundred. Forty nine fifty with that, completely that, outfitted. When you're talking a forever bike, yeah, not bad. I'm trying to figure out how to get one somehow because 
It's very I'm not. it's very similar to the long tail that I already have in the other room. Yeah, but it's titanium. But titanium, right? So. And yeah, and not it doesn't take as big a tires yep. either. But. Speaking of bikes, did I tell you that last week I uh, was asked to tour the rec center for UW Milwaukee. Mm. No, I don't and even know what that is. They what is moved that? it, so it's really funny. Here's the here's the long story about it. Uh, my Smitty, some fucker put a dent in it this week. Um, had a low leak, a slow leak in the tire. So I rode to campus to the Union back when the rec center was in the basement, and I pulled my Smitty up, and I'm like, "Can I borrow a pump?" And I'm pumping up the tire, and this young lady, very nice young lady, says, um, "Which if we go back like t- 200 podcasts, it was on this one too." And I and I said, she's like, is that a salsa? I'm like, well, no, it's a Schlick Cycles, but oddly enough, it's a salsa fork. I'm like, you obviously know your bikes. And she says, my dad rides those fat bikes. And I'm like, is that right? I'm like, who's your dad? Well, his name is Keith, but everyone calls him Bubba. <laughs> and I'm like, really? I'm like, I know Bubba. Everyone he always knows. has a flat tire. And she... She's like, while she's talking to me, she's typing something to me, and then she turns around, and she's like, yeah, here's a picture of my dad right here. And I'm like, and there's a picture of me right there. I'm like, we were all fat biking that day. He got a flat tire and borrowed my tube to be able to make it home. So anyway, the rec center is no longer in the basement of the Union. It is now in the the Klotschke Center, which is the athletics area. And I, my contact there, he took me down to introduce me to the manager and stuff, and Guess they have like a half a dozen fat bikes that they loan out to people. Huh. Seriously. Guess who makes them? I don't. Fixation. Framed. Oh, okay. Like well, they have framed. But they don't make them anymore. Right. Well, of course not. Because they are gone, gone now. And I happen to mention that. I'm like, yeah, framed is out of business. And she's like, well, I still think they make bikes in Wisconsin. I'm like, are you sure you're not talking about Wyatt? And she's like. Oh, it is Wyatt. I'm like, yes, it is. Yeah, they should start. But she asked me. She's like, she's like, do you guys ever need assistance with trail maintenance? And I said, we would always be able to find people to do trail maintenance. She's like, well, you let me know when you want some people, and I have lots of people to help you volunteer. Right on. So pretty great. Does that count for just, like an urban jungle cross? Or I just think for we could ask her to do that. Her her partner is a gravel rider. I sent her a picture of the. Uh, the gravel bike we sell and said, hey, your husband should upgrade to a U.S. or your partner should upgrade to a U.S. made bike. So stuff like that. Should do that. But anyway, I, I thought that was a pretty great experience to be. Uh, the other funny part is she had a Colorado license plate in her office. And I'm like, oh, did you live in Colorado? And she said, yeah. I'm like, where? And she said, Greeley. And I looked at her and said, I'm really sorry. And this guy, Heath, my contact kind of looks at me like, why are you saying that? And then she looked at him and said, oh, yeah, it sucks. I almost went there because they have an aviation school in Greeley. Yeah, because they it's also a, have stench. It's a decent spot for, for flying oh, it for some is. reason. It's, it's flat and windy yeah. from the front range. Yeah. yeah. But so that was a... The, the smell of rendering <laughs> blood will get to you after, oh, eight seconds. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> ah. Hey, our friends at State Bicycle got some stuff going on. Did I send you the picture yet? Mm-hmm. <laughs> since, since, it's, since it's embargoed yesterday, it's the embargo was off. We can talk about it. Tuesday, their their new state clunker. Did you see that? You saw the picture, J.K. No. Oh. Yeah. Oh. You need so to pull it, it up on that phone. Pretty years. much. So I don't. So I didn't know who Rip and Dip is. Rip oh, I, I didn't know that either. They're a Los Angeles based streetwear brand known for their irreverent and fun loving style with its iconic cat mascot, who is on the seat and that had two badge and stuff. But the state clunker that we're also familiar with and love so very much, pretty much says "fuck you." About 1,000 times all over the bike. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's black and white it, graphics. It's completely inappropriate, and I love it. Yeah, yeah. I'm wondering if it's uh, going to sell well, I would think. I think it's going to sell Probably. well. Yeah, I, I would imagine they make 200. I think they make 200 of every one of their collabs, pretty much. So, see if they can get 200 of those FU bikes they, out they there. Can, they can get 200. But they also have FU frame bags for your clunker. And a few round bags like we've got, like the Aussie one I have and stuff. And I dead, certainly, I certainly want to have. I cert- so you won't be able to get into that link today because it's still embargoed. I think I sent it in the in the messages, JK. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. Uh, but here's another cool thing that they're doing, and I'm kind of interested in it. It is a 
No, we'll talk about it after the top of the hill. <laughs> top of the hill. Everybody. Top of the hill. Tony brought the beer today. Tony. Top, top of the hill this this week is the River West Back, backyard. backyard Hops Edition yeah. at Company Brewing. What they do is they pick a date and then ask everyone in River West or, of course, anywhere surrounding to bring in their fresh hops, and then they make a wet hopped pale ale. And this year I brought in four and a half pounds of hops. Um, I brought in four and a half pounds of hops. Right and someone else brought in 22, which is amazing to me. I think total, according to their thing, is they got over 180 pounds. Yeah, which considering from the River West isn't very big, that's a lot of hops growing in River West. Um, mine have been kind of on unru- unruly, but it's pretty neat. They have a really nice can. We Muskegon should put it in the picture, picture of which I forgot my phone. It says, thank you, River <laughs> West. Um, but it's really cool. You came there. You told them what what hops you thought you had. Which were, what were yours? Uh, mine are, are uh, Cascade and, um, oh, crap. I, Centennial? No, because no. Centennial is another more of an IPA. Uh Mine was a brown hop, and I'm Mount Hood. No, mm. I'm sorry. I will remember. Well, here's it just so, after it, the show's it, over. So there is. There were a lot. Nugget, Centennial, Cascade, Tea Maker, Willamette, Golden, Saz, Zeus, Mount Hood, Columbia. My Mount Hood. Kid, I don't Thank even you. know what that one is. Chinook Cluster, Simcoe, yeah, and a couple other ones. I and Maybe Comet. Maker. A couple other ones I can't pronounce. But if you knew what your hop was, you're, sub- stuff, yeah, yeah, you're supposed yeah. to tell them what they were. But uh, but a lot of people just brought in. Buckets of, of yeah. Hops. So they wet hop it at, at, at uh, uh, what part of the brewing process do they do? They do they steep it in the whirlpool after the boil to extract the flavors. Yeah, it's um, it's good. It's we, good this year. T- Tony brought this for the open uh, factory nut house uh, open house Saturday thing event. Saturday, and I was thinking it was going to be like pretty powerful. It's five point four percent. Yeah, you can supposedly drink, can they could be lying like Tim. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and, and for the record, uh, I'm bringing this all together with company. I had a beer with Eric at company the, the other day, and he is shocked that you guys have never had anything to eat there. <laughs> we should go there and have something to eat because you guys. I, think I had I, breakfast during a River West 24 no, we, five years we, ago or something. The brunch is outstanding. I know because my bike was dripping vegan cheese. cheese yeah. <laughs> and we went there for some reason. Pretty sure. It's a pretty fine establishment. I'm sure. I just never have gotten around to it. Yeah. Anytime that that has come up, there's been something else that was true on that, the true thing. That. 75 IBU, by the way. <clears throat> oh. That's, that's... It's, it, it's good. I, I'm, I'm assuming that it all just turns into what it turns into. And... Right, right. I mean, that's the funny part about it. It's so much different every year, yeah. which is what Good's adds tough. to the ambiance. <laughs> so we were talking uh, Von Munz a little earlier. Oh, yeah. yeah. WMSC DJ Thursdays. Noon to three. Yes, indeed. Uh, just in time for Halloween, apparently, there's going to be a Von Munz t-shirt available. Yes. Has this been released for real? I have, It's just in time for Halloween. I don't think it's been released yet. No, uh, I don't think it's he not even just made in it time public. Yet. Until, I knew about this like five months ago, you guys. Yeah. I was okay. sworn to you're, secrecy. You're, yeah, you're sworn to secrecy. Sworn into secrecy. So I'm you're, very you're excited this is finally coming out. Yeah, so. I don't only know, some, begged him for somewhere years. I somewhere I saw it, so it must be common knowledge by now. Yeah, I saw I saw a picture of it when I uh, what was it during uh, doors open. Uh, okay, I, I popped in and then uh, this woman I have no idea who she was, but she was like a volunteer with <clears throat> the station that helps with that part of the shop of the website. I think. She's like, I have the pictures. I have the pictures. We just got to put them up. We just got to put them up on the website. <laughs> I just didn't understand this, what the hell was going on. But this is something I can help WMSE with. And I was like, I was like, oh shit! I'm like, I kind of need so, a job. So when I went inside, she was like, oh, let me show you the picture. I'm like, oh hell yeah, let me see the picture. So I have seen. Um, I have so seen. I, I've did seen you take a picture design. of the picture? No, that would have been a little too much. As is obviously, I'm <laughs> wearing another WMSC shirt this oh, evening. Oh, Dewey Gill's big show. Well, that's I, a good I, shirt. I will. Yeah, because I'm tempted to get the C well, bar. Mello, the cat. A, it's black. Right. And I'm not buying any shirt from them if it's not black. Oh, I am because Von Munz might be white. Well, we'll see. <laughs> but here's I'll my have deal. To make it on the on the. I have I have thing. many many shirts from WMSC because I love WMSC. But I'm going to tell you, 
Von Munns is going to be the only one that I'm going to buy multiple shirts because I want to wear that. I want one that I can wear like weekly. I want one that I can pull out on special occasions, and I want one that I can never ever wear. <laughs> <laughs> the shirt collector. You know who else has a shirt coming out? Did we talk about this last week? <clears throat> Steve will let all hail the black market. The we didn't talk about. Hessian, we talked about it earlier. I thought though. Well, we talked about the the design, but now Off there's a mic, sh- I believe. There's now a shirt coming out, and there's a pre order available. Links in the show notes. It is kind of the Wizard Staff van skateboard. Like, there's all sorts of stuff going on. It is quite possibly one of the coolest shirts I've ever seen. It's in the show notes. Yeah, excellent. And I, I'd go ahead and pre-order it if I were you, because uh, you might you might not get one if you don't pre-order. Because he's not, you know, he's not going to bankroll everybody until they decide to throw money at him. Right. You're going to want to throw money at him first, and then he might maybe get Extend around it. to making shirts. I mean, you know, you might have to beg a little bit, a little, little pleading. But uh, I think it's it's. Oh. I think, <laughs> whoa, that's bleating, sir. Uh, not not uh, bleating. Uh, uh. You are. <laughs> I was bang, but yeah. Whatever. Was uh, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's bad. Yeah. That's bad. Yes. Happy October. I've been listening. Yes. So we it have is, we. It is well. The Von Munns. All back on that. You know, the crypt's open, yeah. especially during October. This time for yeah. Halloween-y music, I'm man. Kinda the bummed, creeper shit. I'm kind of bummed listening to WMC. I did not win Ty Seagull tickets. Yep. I it's did tomorrow. not. I, or two days ago. I didn't I didn't win any tickets, but I, well, I kind of won. <laughs> my, my social circle happenstance got tickets to Eddie Izzard that I saw. Nice. And it was an awesome show because it was in the past, but... In the future, yeah. In the what? Messing what, with the what, timeline what here, here. Describe, yeah. So yeah, no life uh, with a thrill kill count either. But I would really uh, like uh, to see adult more than I'd like to see sure. thrill kill count. Thrill kill, yeah, exactly. That that would be a good that would be a good show. But I'll be seeing. Especially, at I'll have to see Abel and the Sniffers in Madison. Oh, oh well, damn. <laughs> That's gonna be a damn fun show. And the same night as Mud Honey down at Extra Arcade, which still bends my brain, but it sold out. So I can't get it anyway, so I'm not going to worry about it. So you I said this either it. last week or two weeks ago, and as soon as I heard Mud Honey and X-Ray, I'm like, really? Oh, shit. I know. That would have been a destiny. Oh, that's going to be If I hadn't won the tickets, I would have moved heaven and earth to get that. Yeah, but, that's going to be full of fucking uh, people. Alas, no. Because that it sold out pretty damn quick. As it should. Yeah, yeah. But I was glad there was a little gapper there. It wasn't like some weird ticket master suck up. True like, that. True you that. know, yeah. it's like, oh, come on. So, <sighs> oh. I was so there was this new. This is a bike thing again. Yeah, what it is it? Does we ride our bikes next rare? Well, it's so I, I thought <laughs> so. There's this. There's this. A link in the show notes. This. It's called the Vulcan Grunt. Yeah, it's an electric grunt. bike with super huge tires. And what I was thinking in my mind was Rokon because that's the two wheel drive, big huge tired thing that they use to groom fat bike trails oh, in some right, spots. Right, right. And I thought, oh, they're making an electric version of that two-wheel drive, you know, groom thing. It's it's good for other stuff too, but I, apparently Vulcan and Rokan are slightly different things. But it is pretty cool. It's it's electric, and it's got humongous tires on it. What and, is humongous? Uh, uh, they, I don't even know. They're, they're that they're big. big. They're big. I don't even know. There's That's how big they are. There's a picture here. Because that, <laughs> they're, that, like, they're like, <laughs> what's your name? Fuck oh, so they're you. like off road. Like, oh yeah, like they're, they're ATV tires. Yeah, total. They're like, yeah, kind of like two tires on a motorcycle that right could on, be on an ATV right maybe, but it's electric. Speaking, speaking of tires, we did also throw in the show notes or at least sent messages. Uh, what's the f- story with rad bikes doing a twenty-two inch wheel? I'm not sure that, that makes any that is sense the at all. Dumbest. It's, that's the reason I chose not to buy that bike. Instead, I'm looking at and still will purchase eventually the Expedition. Le- because electric. Electric Expedition because it's 20 inch. Which you can find a bunch of tires for. Your selection's huge and cheap. Yeah. You know, 22. How many tires can you get that are 22? I don't even know. Not I, many. I I'm going to guess it's pretty close to zero unless you go to their website and spend an exorbitant amount of money. They're special. Because they're douches. It seems silly. You have a special. It does seem really. It gets a. It's a really highly rated electric cargo bike, but every complaint about it is the twenty-two inch wheels. 
Oh, yeah. And fit and, a, at least go extra cycle and go 26 in the front and 20 in the rear. I didn't. Did I look at it? It doesn't have, is it a mid drive? No, it's a, it's oh, a, it's a hub drive. It's, it's a hub drive, so it's you'd your, have to rebuild your wheel into something that's more it's, it's logical. Your, you know, it, it's a, you know, low budget, mail order only cargo bike, along with yeah, the oh. likes of electric <laughs> and Aventaton. Is it UL seen. certified? Ah, uh, that I don't know, but I think. They would be fools not to do something like that it's, after another house I, burned down in Colorado. I think it's going to probably become something that has mm. to has to happen. Well, I'm sure you can always circumvent, but there the all the New York stuff where all the fires right. are happening now. There's a law there that you have to have like battery lockers. They're like fireproof lockers right. that have hundreds of batteries in them somehow. Yeah, in Colorado, there was a story today about a guy whose house burned down after he bought a cheap kit online and built his own, and yeah, he lost everything. That is a good reason to... We use an ammo case, a big, huge... We also use a am- reputable battery. Yeah, but it goes in the ammo case when it's charging, especially customer batteries, because mm-hmm. don't know what those things are about. But uh, yeah, that thing, you know, if it's explosive proof, because... Because <laughs> it has to be. what it's made for. But yeah. All that, right. That well, uh, yeah. Os- Osage uh, tomorrow. Uh, stuff coming up. Uh, also, a show next week, folks. Don't know what's going to happen mm-hmm. then, but we'll. I guess Happy. we'll we'll be here. I'll be back by then. Happy anniversary. Probably. Molly. Happy anniversary, Molly. Yeah. Happy anniversary. Molly. Stuck with me still. Happy anniversary, baby. Thirty. Got you all, man. Thirty-two years. Hey, what yeah. a fool. Thirty-two years. Yeah. What a fool. You've been, there, you've been there longer than I have. It's like 28 years. Married 25, but yeah. 28. Anyway, 20, yeah. whatever. There you go. All right, next week, folks. Bye. Bye. Happy Octobers. Yeah, yeah, yeah.